Let's take one coming in from Chemo Force. Says, Dear Wooly One and Pat One, what is the craziest thing you've seen your parents do that you're willing to call out? My mom actually spends her evenings uh, streaming one movie to two TV and two TV shows at the same time, all in 4K. When one buffers, she switches apps. For reference, I'm from oh, Egypt, true. where our maximum internet speed is 30 megabits per second, and we have a bandwidth data cap of 140 gigs per month. If that wasn't enough, she scrolls through Facebook on the side. It's so bad that my browser That's just fun. gives up even loading Google. As for my dad, he eats his takeout sushi with a fork and is microwaved. I'm, oh, oh, I was, I was wow. like, fork's not that crazy. And I'm like, uh. Wow. Um, so mine's, mine is a little more subtle, but I need you to understand that this is like once a week for my whole life when I was living at home. My dad likes to make himself like eggs and bacon and, and toast in, on like Saturday mornings, right? Like the most normal thing in the world. Except he fries his eggs too hot and he refuses to wear a shirt. So he is constantly being peppered and burned by spitting eggs for like 10 minutes. And and like he 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 won't change anything about this process. Like like my whole life like oh, dad woke up and he's tired and he's got no shirt on. He's going to make some eggs. And he's like ah. Ah. I'm like dad put a shirt. He's like no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And or like turn down the fucking, like it's too hot. It's like no, nah, I want it now. And like just refu absolutely refuses to change any part of that situation to not end up with like oil burns on his chest. That's pretty. That's pretty fucked. But he'd wear his glasses even though he doesn't need his glasses. Because sometimes the oil would hit his glasses and he'd be like, good thing I'm wearing my glasses or that would have really hurt. <sighs> I do know that I have, like I said, my my roommate uh, back in the day that uh, his dad worked uh, as a cook. He just, he was fucking doing, he was, um, uh, 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 whatchamacallit, uh, this, when you're doing when you're fusing metal um welding welding he was welding a fence and the sparks were just hitting up his body and it's like what the fuck is going on arms just getting lit up and it's like oh yeah he cooks with hot oil every day he feels nothing nothing it's all gone yeah um damn do i even want to say this one <laughs> nah you're good nah don't worry about that too much yeah yeah, tap out. You want to move on to a different email? Okay. <laughs> I think I don't think I'll tap out. Uh, all right. All right. It's it's probably fine. It's probably fine. But it's just again, we're talking. We're just talking. Wade. We're just talking weird behavior, right? Just the, yeah, the, the weird, weird behavior. Yeah, crazy thing. Crazy thing. Uh, I mean, you know, all in all in good fun. Right, keeping with the spirit of the fact that this is a comedic podcast in nature, I suppose. Oh, I bet this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, I've known for a long time, and it feels like like you know how people have different textures that they're a fan of. Um, oh boy. Okay. Well, look, I love you, mom. Um, the the people are fans of different textures. Some people like you know crunchy things, soft things, etc. My mom has always been a fan of like um, things with like chalky textures to them, like powdery foods or okay, yeah, a, a good t things that she likes. It's not my thing, but I get it. Yeah, there's can there's like the little Popeye candy sticks. You know, they're kind of powdery. And, I uh, love those things. They're right, and then like anything that has that kind of energy to it, and I also know it's kind of why she likes milk of magnesia, for example, which is also extremely powdery, and I mm -hmm. hate it; it's awful and gross. But she's she's down. I mean, I know that she's been like, she's as she said before, she's like, you ever just like feel like you want to just like taste like something really chalky, and I was like, no, I don't understand that at all. Actually, it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, it's like, all mm -hmm. right. Might have seen, might have seen. <laughs> oh, it's too late now. It's too late. It's too late. Might have, might have, 
might have uh, might have found a piece of chalk with a yeah, knew it. An indentation in it. Yeah, man. Dude, Pika rules. Like a couple weeks ago, I described like eating pencils. Like I wouldn't <laughs> swallow, but like yeah, you gotta you gotta chew a bunch of wood and, and and plastic. I just don't I just don't know where or what. But look, look, hey, you all and you all have your shit, okay? And you, I'm sure they oh, have yeah. their, it's every not one of you. Bad for you. I'm sure it can't be good for you. All right, hold on. Is it okay to eat chalk? That was a weird autocomplete. It started to autocomplete. Is it okay uh, to eat chalk while pregnant? Uh, while where chalk does this is, come from? Where like, chalk is minimally toxic. Like not what? poisonous in small amounts and may not hurt you. It is never a good idea. It can but disrupt like, your digestion systems. But if it's the powdery part, there's so many edible powders that we consume. You know? D Wooly, as, as, listen, as somebody who probably has a minor case of pica and likes to eat things that aren't real food just to chew on them. What, what is, what is, what is this? What is pica? What is? Oh, pica is the desire to eat food that's not food. Okay. All right. People that chew on things that, um, uh, chalk, wood, plastic, rubber, not food. Um, so people like, you know. Yeah. Uh, um, it's sure. some people eat hair. That's bad. That yeah. one's really bad. No good. Actually. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Um, because yeah. it can it can fuck your stomach up really bad. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, look, uh, I just forbidden candy. But yeah, as somebody as somebody who uh who has eaten things that shouldn't have been eaten, um, sometimes you just have a like a really intense compulsion to to chew on your plastic straw like crazy. Hmm. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I do know that there's, again, there's the, there's the, you'd think you'd hit up, you'd stock up on some Popeye sticks and, and call it a day, but, uh, you know. What if Anyways. you just don't have that around? Or maybe it's just different. Look, man, I don't know. Uh, and, and I still don't, and that's what it is, and there you go, all right? So it's out there now, all right? Bam. But you should it, eat some chalk. Then you'll I'm, know. <sighs> then you'll know. I'll eat some chalk right now. I don't have any, but I would. I'd do it. I feel I feel kind of bad, but it's fine. I remember once Paige got like upset because like cat hair got on her food, and I was like, check this out, and I pulled a piece of hair off the cat and ate it, and she almost threw up on the floor. That's on camera. There's a stream. I forget when that was, but that that did happen. For real? You didn't oh, yeah, fake, dude. You didn't fake it? Fuck no. Does the feeling of like hair at the back of your throat oh, not shit. Auto oh, make, it was automatically it was gag? I didn't like it. Okay. No, it was very bad. I didn't. Yeah. It was really bad idea. Okay. Um. Thank you for crawling underneath the bus and making room <laughs> so that I can safely <laughs> remove Do my. You have a cat or a dog. You're eating cat and ha dog hair all the time. I appreciate you making room for me to escort my mother from under the bus so that you may now take her place. That's 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 a very generous uh, uh, gesture. Uh, that's fucking wild, bro. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh. Oh. Is there a, is there a strange nexus of confusion between the pad of last week who can't let food touch and the pad of this week who will eat chalk and pencils and cat hair no problem? If you have to ask. As long as the pencil doesn't touch the chalk, it's fine. <laughs> 